oh, it's like uh, so natural. You know, I learned with Mugler, the king of the cut. When I learned with him, I was 20 years old, something like this. And uh, he was yet work, work, working with um, uh, Le Marie for the feather, Le Sage for the embroidery, uh, Gossens for the jewelry. Uh, so I learned with this. So it was like for me, uh, you know, you, you, you are the child of your parents, your own parents, and professionally speaking, the same. I think I've got um, a supernatural rapport with a, with a crystal. Uh, I think, you know, um, when you're young, you are impressed by what? By the shiny things, I think. So by the light, by the, the reflect in the crystal, something like this. Uh, oh, you know, we're just um, finishing Christmas and the Christmas trees, you know, and it's magic to, to see uh, something um, shining. So uh, I think it was with Mugler, my first real pieces where I was super impressed by it was a bustier totally in crystal made by Gossens. You know, it was all in crystal. Emma S, a top uh, in this period, wore that and it was like an amazing technique to do. And the result was like a, a flowers in crystal directly on the body. It was so amazing. You need to, to, uh, to work fast super quick, you need to um, answer before the question, you need to find solution before everybody. And I think uh, real complicity, you know, to explain something like teaching so to somebody something, it's, uh, it takes time. I don't know why uh, I love too much that, because each season I, uh, I can see um, the impossible things are possible at the end. You know, um, I finished this couture um, yet this season, super early or this season, you know, uh, because uh, two weeks before the real uh, event of the show, uh, it was a super uh, a real challenge when you see the technicity of, um, uh, of the collection. But uh, this is the rules of the game, you know what I mean? You know, it's like um, it's like in sports when you train a lot and you're uh, when you when you arrive to um, to be better uh, better than you think. You know, I think it's uh, you progress each time, and I think it's uh, sometimes you are. I, I say to myself, boy, well, it's not possible to do, but impossible is not um, impossible. In fact. Couture, of course, in the state of the people, you know, it's always a, a ceremonial uh, outfit. No, it's wrong. You can wear couture all day long if you want. You know, it's a question of education and uh, sensibility. You can buy couture for different reasons. Because you, you want to have the best for you. Uh, because you love your, this uh, relationship with your favorite house, with the first of atelier, or because you, you love to to understand how a coach is made. But you, you can also uh, buy couture for the, the technicity. This is the top of the iceberg at the end, you know. This is a reflection of a, of a, of a context and also a period, you know. And you can, you can read the world through the fashion. I think we're no voyant or a visionary or something like that. When you do a collection, it's always in a context. I think it's important to understand the world where you live, to make clothes, to reflect the, uh, the real MB of uh, the woman. Uh, when you do a collection, it's not only about, about a designer for the couture collection. It's a, it's, um, it's a team. And uh, me, without them, I'm nobody at the end. C'est comme des architects or architects of my ideas. And young people are going back on this kind of um, of work, you know, with something with your hand, uh, with creativity, uh, something more um, in the reality, more human. I want to say also, you know, uh, not only you know, like in the 80s, uh, everybody wants to be like at the bourse or something like this, you know. More, I can feel this kind of interest uh, from a uh, young generation. You know, I think one it's enough uh, because it's super strong. It's uh, to be passionate, to be passionate by that. You know.